music. Oh well, no music <laughs> today. I didn't even it didn't even dawn on me. I'm not even on the big computer. Ooh, I have something in the library. Yeah. Ooh, it's part three to um something. Um <laughs> That's oh, bad. That's that, it's, uh, hey, I know it's part three. Does that count for anything? <laughs> it's like princess, Poison Princess. I think that's what book one was called. It's over there somewhere on the massive <laughs> stack of part, stuff. Part three to something. Something sounds good. Yeah, you know, it, it does. Nope, 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 nope. Jumping. No jumping. It's been yeah, a bad week. It's been really bad. So... I had all I had the library stuff coming via the mail because I don't have mm -hmm. a car all the time, and uh, yeah. then I get a box and it's the whole side of it's damaged and it's missing like I think two or three books. What? Yeah, so I had to call them and let them know the books weren't in there. And apparently that's that happens a lot. So then I switched it Yikes. to Winter Haven to just pick them up there, mm -hmm. and uh, we go out. I think it was Saturday night. Saturday, it had to have been Saturday night because Donnie doesn't work on Sundays. So we go out on Saturday night when he comes home go to go drop stuff off and go pay bills. Yeah. Go in on Monday to go pick up the other two books that came in, which if you guys have not read, whoever's watching this, if you haven't read Compulsion, I do not remember what the author's name is, but the front of it has like um, like trees. It looks kind of like an amber or brownish color, and it's got like two people laying down on the front of it, that, the beginning of that book is awesome. I actually just purchased <laughs> from Amazon. You so would. Awesome. Yeah. So, um, we return books, and I go in on Monday to pick that one up, and another one, I don't remember what the other one was, but, um, and I find out, oh, well, there's three books still on my account that we had dropped off. And I'm like, are you serious? So I had to call the individual libraries who actually physically own that book. And let them know that, you know, well, I put it in the drop and they didn't have it. So now I moved everything to over here where I live, so the library is, like, right down the street. So I'm like, now I'm going to have to, like, when I go to return books, I'm going to have to, like, take them in. I'm like, I need to see you scan these off of my account. So I know that right. they're not going to disappear. That's yeah. crazy. Disappear. <laughs> yes, disappear. That's what they call it. Disappear like socks in the dryer. It's crazy. <laughs> Who is this person? I keep getting... Oh! 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 It's the lady that wrote The Law for Loving Others. Or The Law of Loving Others from Penguin. Ooh, hey. She wants to come on the Somebody office. Who wants on? Sorry, people. Okay, I was going to ask. <laughs> another one? Another one, yes. Another another one bites the dust. Uh, no, hey. it's weird. Hmm? You read that book earlier, but the one by uh, Sophie Jordan? Yes, that's this one that I'm still reading. I'm almost you done. should ask her for author chat if she wants to get on that. I know. I've been trying to talk her into coming on. Well, she commented on your post earlier. You'd think she'd want to get on. I know. I know. You'd be like, hey, come on. I love your books. I wonder, does she have... Does she have Twitter? Because I looked it up because I was going to tweet to her that that book was awesome, but I couldn't find it. Mm -hmm. I don't know. Okay, well, anyway, this show, this nice little chat between <laughs> me and Rachel, I need to give you, like, the email for GeekyCon and see if you could get in for, for like, this. I mean, the worst thing they could to. do is say, is say no. Worst thing they could do is say yeah. no. It's true. I will send you their email. Oh, maybe she doesn't have Twitter. I don't see. Oh, there it is. Ha ha, Twitter. Twitter. Oh, you found it? I found her, and I'm I actually... I will tweet her like crazy. I'm actually following her. Crossroad Reviews would love to have you... Why am I doing that? I have the copy and paste of my signature. I know, I'm like, I'm always doing, like, through these things, I'm always doing, like, 80,000 things at once. Okay, so her people, you need to tweet Sophie Jordan and tell her we want her on the author chat. Her Twitter is so very Sophie. There, she has been. <laughs> That's cute. 
And the dogs are running away. Okay, so this chat tomorrow at 7 p.m. Eastern Standard Time, we will be meeting none other than PC Cast and her daughter, Kristen Cast, for the new release of Amber Smoke. I was so mad. I've been tweeting to Kristen off of Instagram and uh, mm -hmm. Facebook and stuff. Okay, and I'm like baking my ass off. I swear I am not naked. I have a top on. <laughs> no matter how weird this looks. Okay, let's like do that. Or something. I don't know. It's so hot in here. <laughs> there I'm we like, go. That works. That's better. I like baking. You get some really yes, weird. You. you get some really weird people on YouTube. I swear. And now my like my headphones are like flying through <laughs> my shirt. Oh my god. I'm gonna I'm gonna choke myself with these things sooner or later. Okay. So I guess I can't put that one in. So uh, tomorrow, yes, we will be meeting them, and they are the authors of, like, these cool things, and then the Parthenon series that I actually have. I actually have them. Yeah, those. But I have them in ebook. I need to find my book. I, I have, have a book. Yeah, I have a little book that, like, all the authors Honest. have signed. I don't have all of them. I don't remember what ones I have. Um, my mom has like a weird. These are my mom's books, <laughs> so I'm gonna see if these can get okay. signed. Since okay. Out. There's no hot dogs left. Out. 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 Go have Nana get you something to eat if you're hungry again. Okay. Out. Thank you. Goodbye. Bye. Hug. Hug. She needs a hug. Oh, and that was. Aww. Hey. <laughs> Oh, Love her. A headache before. Yeah, okay, go. Yeah, You're fine. <laughs> Love really hurts. Oh, she just hit me so my teeth like popped up. Oh. I hate that. Oh no. Um both girls had done that when they were babies and like popped me in my chin hard and like really hard. So hard. I think I don't remember who which one it was. The ten-year-old or the four-year-old, but they had done it so hard that I bit my lip and like just gushed blood everywhere. It was awesome. Okay, just shut it as, as far as you can. Ooh. Ugh. I don't want to do that. I want the code. Yeah, these. Ah. Oh. These are my mom's. The adult oh. books. What did I'm I hoping we can get these signed. Yeah, they said you could get anything else signed. All right, because these aren't are these, Kristen. These are PC. Are the other ones adult or teen? I wasn't sure. The Parthenon series? Because I know these are, these are like paranormal romance. Mm hmm But what about the Parthenon series? I wasn't sure. Which one's the Parthenon series? That's like the, the what is it, um, Divine by... This one? Or, yeah, those are. Yes. What, what is that one? Yeah, Divine by Blood and all those. I don't know. I've never read these. These are these four are my mom's. I'm just taking them to get signed for her. Ah. Oh. Yeah, I've got Divine, Divine Beginnings, Divine by Blood, Divine by Mistake. Those are the things I have in my Kindle on my phone. You know, somebody really needs to come up with an app that you can get your ebook signed. That's what I said here. Like the Kindle people, you need yeah. to be able to like do it on your phone or your Kindle, and you hit a button and put in a code or something, you know, that is designed by that author, and then they can just sign it on your screen, and then you tap another button, and then it actually becomes part of that book. I think that would be so freaking cool because I don't like the um, Kindle graphs. For the fact that it's a secondary application, you know, it's a sec it's like a, an, its own book on that on your thing, and I'm like, wow, yes. I have like this list of Kindle graphs. You know, that's just it's stupid, and it just takes. The yeah. Point. Why would I have that on my Kindle? I don't even keep these things on there. You know, I mean, I'll read it, I'll read it, and then it comes off because it doesn't stay on there. There's no reason for it. Yep. Yeah, somebody, because you can make some big bu bucks from that. Yeah. I okay. think you need to make so, it, Jessica. <laughs> so I've got these three books. I've got Goddess of Light, Goddess of Spring, and Goddess of the Sea. I don't even know if this is book one, two, and three. These are just the ones that I just happen to have, and they were 
like sitting over there in a list. I didn't even know I even had these, and so and so I started moving stuff around. Oh, you just, you have them. I have the mass market ones. Which one is? I that? only have one. This is this is goddess, goddess, of, goddess of legend. Oh, legend. Yeah, I don't have that one. They had a goddess of love or something at these bookstore, but it reeked cigarette smoke. Like you open it and it's mm. like smell it. I'm surprised I didn't see little puffs of of smoke coming out of it. <laughs> but then I also a cigarette as a book holder. Yeah, I don't know. Gross. It as a bookmark or something. But then I also have Gross. two copies of Nixon House of Night. Of course, one is yours now, and one is mine. Go figure on why I had two copies of this. I think <laughs> I had one because this copy was out with my witchy stuff because it's still out there because I just I don't have any room in here. Um, and then one copy was with all the House of Night books. So I'm thinking, like, because this is all dealing with um, the mythology, folklore, and religion in the mm -hmm. PC cast and Kristen cast vampire series. I love how they spell vampire with a Y instead of an I. So it's all about the... With the Y? I really like that one. Yeah. So it's all about, you know, like, she's a goddess and the myths and, uh, like, mythos in the House of Night, female worship. It has all the things, um, like, the goddess of Woolen. I think it's Willendorf. I cannot pronounce half this crap. Um, it's got some really beautiful volumes in here, though. Isn't that gorgeous? Bad. I have not read this, like, at all. I got it. I've had this probably since it came out, and I just, I never read it. It's weird. But, yeah, all that stuff. So that's going to be going. I want the trading cards. Then I have these. Or the cards. And it's a hardback. Mine's paper. <laughs> They only released it in paperback. The only reason I got this in hardback is for the fact, as you can see on the back of it, it is a book club edition. I'm jealous. So that was the only way that I got it in hardback, and I haven't read this one either. I just like that it was hardback. I wish this was hardback. That would have been nice. But yeah, this has got, like, you know, vampire biology in it, rituals, night kind, um, elementology. Go figure I can pronounce this that. Is this is so cool. They show, you know, what the changes look like after being marked. Oh, where is that? Oh, I found that. Oh. Yeah. The eyes. The eyes change colors. Mm-hmm. The biology so cool. being marked. I saw a lady in Walmart, mm -hmm. and I had commented that, oh, my God, you know, her tattoos look, they reminded me of the ones from the House of Night, and she overheard me, and she's like, actually, that's what they're based off of. And I'm like, oh, that's so cool. <laughs> I like those. That's so pretty. I think these are so cool. They're so pretty. Then the next one is um, this. I actually got from Books a Million off of their discount shelf. Mm -hmm. it's the bind up of all the comics. So that's kind of cool. That is cool. Yeah. So that can get signed, and it's like all of it. This is a uh, House of Night Legacy. I don't know if they did any more of these but it mm -hmm. still looks cool looks cool I'm going to have to look for that um, yeah if you're going to look at like books a million or, or something I love the artwork in this it's so gorgeous their um, artwork in general for this stuff is so cool I know it is so awesome but um, if you go if you look at like books a million it's going to be over where the comics are not with the team stuff comics okay yeah then the next four is all the novellas that I have not read any yeah, of these. Too. So we've got Colonna, 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 yeah, something like that. It's fall, Dragon's Oath. Is it Lenobia? Or Lenobia. Lenobia. See, I have been per mispronouncing all this stuff for years. <laughs> and then what is that? The fret. Yeah. Or ne nef the Neferet. Blah, blah, blah. <laughs> that person, too. She sounds <laughs> like a queen. <laughs> we'll just call her the evil, creepy lady and just be done with it. Neferet. I always kind of thought that it kind of reminded me of Nefertiti and just like they cut mm -hmm. some words off, some letters off at the end. <laughs> so I've got those to get signed. And then, of course, I've got the entire, entire. I was going to say, that's not the entire. That's only four books. 
Come on, Jessica, keep it going. The entire. <laughs> Don't let it fall. We lost you. I can't hear anything. I will just unplug it. How about that? There we go. Not even worry about it. <laughs> I have not read this whole entire series yet, as you can probably guess. I've read that one. Uh, I stopped. I stopped at Awakened. I think that's the same one that I stopped at. What was after Awakened? Um, Destined. Yeah, I haven't read Destined or Revealed. Those are the last two, right? Or uh, Destined, Hidden, and Revealed, and um, Redeemed. Re Which is the last one? These are Revealed. Order. No, Redeemed. Redeemed is the last one. So it goes Mark, and then what? Chosen. Betrayed. Oh, Betrayed is next. Okay. Chosen. Then, then Chosen, according to the back of it anyway. Mm -hmm. Then Untamed. Yeah. Mm -hmm. oh, this is the one, some of these, they have like the exclusive posters inside. I know, I love the posters in them. And they're pretty on the outside. They're not just crappy paper. Most of these I got used. Yeah. This one I paid eight bucks before, apparently. Is that what it says? The no this one I paid Sadly, the novellas don't have anything cute. I had a... Oh, I guess they all have them. Oh, I didn't know that. They all have, like, some... Yeah, everything but the novellas. Now, this one's pretty. This is revealed. As you can tell, I, I haven't looked at any of these. Ooh, pretty. That kind of reminds me of Starling. Livingston? Oh, my goodness. So you have the last book? Hmm? You're supposed to buy them in order, you know. <laughs> Oh, I bought those at, um, where did I get them? Oh, the used bookstore. Oh, okay. So I'm like, I need these. <laughs> okay, these so are like a those redeemed the lot. I wonder if I can get these like in order here. So then Amber Smoke. So that's the new one. That's mm -hmm. my Christine cast, right? Yes. You didn't write it with your mom. Okay, so the smart trade, chosen, unclean. Tempted. Tempted. Inside the poster right here. Burned. Awakened. Destined. Destined. Hidden. hidden revealed. Oh, and redeemed. And redeemed. Okay. And then we're going to do the novella all Okay, so that is everything. Yeah, I was posting to Kristen um, the last couple of days. You know, I was like, I'm so mad because I can't read Amber Smoke before I go tomorrow because I don't have it. It's at the bookstore. You know? Uh huh. Yep. So is mine. And like, that sucks. Normally, I'd, you know, I would like read it beforehand so I could ask questions. And now I just can't. And I really have to ask House of Night questions. Yeah, so I have to ask like, other questions and stuff. And really, this would become a movie. This would be an awesome movie. I know it was like supposed to be one. But boy, it just kind of like pulled out and died a horrible, horrible death. The House of Night? Yeah. See, a film of I wish they'd make it a TV series. Oh, the first is one for that. Okay, so it said that the five movies. The first was going to be released in 2015, with filming beginning this year. Replay. No casting has been done. However, Samuel and PC have discussed using both open casting and talent. So apparently, that just has happened. Since, of course. It is 2015, and nobody has done anything. 
I was gonna say I haven't heard anything. Yeah. yeah. All audition is one of the twins. Well, the white twin, obviously. Mm. Honestly, I love the covers of these. Mm. I don't see anything online for, like, any, you know, current updates about it at all. Which is just really sad. On the nose. Oh, that's right. They had Oracle cards. Yep, they had a whole set. Ooh, Purdy's. I oh, wish I got those. They're like eleven dollars and sixty-five cents on Amazon. Oh, why didn't I know about that before? I totally would have bought those. Pooh. Yeah, I should have gotten those. There's an iPhone application for it. Like, who cares about that? <laughs> It's not like you can get it signed. <laughs> okay, so according to PC Cash um, information online, the Divine series is Teen YA. And it's just Divine. Really? Yeah. And it is Divine by Mistake, Divine by Choice, Divine by Blood, and Divine Beginning. And then, hmm. why do I have the third one? The God. Well, I know that the uh, Divine Beginnings is a novella. It's a prequel. Mm -hmm. it's download only. It's not in print. Um, then you have the Parthenon series, which is two books, which is the uh, Elephame's Choice and Bridget's Quest. Yes, and I have those too. Okay, never mind. That's that says the young adult Parthenon book series. It doesn't say if the Divine series is teen or not, unless it does. Let me see. Like, go click back on that again. Fantasy teacher. Okay, never mind. I lied. It just says this thrilling fantasy book series uh, teleports teacher Shannon Parker into the world of of Parthenon, a, a land rich in goddesses, create centaurs, magic, and passion. So I'm guessing that those are adult, since she's a teacher. I wouldn't think that would be teen. I wonder if I still have that. I doubt it. Oh my god, I'm like baking my butt off in here. So what books do you have? How many books do you have to go into tomorrow? How many books are one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, Sixteen, and then seventeen with you. Twenty-one. <laughs> <laughs> well, twenty-two. Twenty-two if you count the one at the store. Uh, eighteen if you count the one at the store. <laughs> Honestly, they're gonna need like wrist brace. Yeah. When they're done. Well, see that was like question. I mean, has this bookstore done a book signing with you know people like this? You know, I have no idea. Nice. And I don't, I don't know if it's the bookstore or if it's the authors, because the authors keep saying, yeah, bring books, bring books, bring them all. And I'm like, you're not going to feel your wrist tomorrow. <laughs> I mean, that's what I said. You know, like, if, if I ever, you know, became an author or something, I don't know. I might just have a stamp. Stamp. You know, and just stamp everything. And then, you know, like, if it was a small thing, like, 20 people are under, then I would physically sign everything. But if it's, like, a lot of people, especially, like, things like BEA and stuff, you know, you have thousands upon thousands of people. Yeah, I don't know how they can do that. I was like, um, I doubt my signature would look the same by the time I was done. You You'd be like, I need my stand-in. Who's going to sign for me now? <laughs> <laughs> well, no, I'm just saying, like, you know, I've, person. I've got all these books that are signed, though, and, and it was like, you know, I physically 
bought it signed. And all the signatures look almost exactly the same. Even the ones where, like, I have Tamara Moffey's book signed, they all look about the same. You know, you can tell that it's from the same person. I, I have chicken scratch. I don't sign my name well. You can't even tell that it says Jessica Porter on it. It looks like crap. So, um, they might be better off with me just, like, stamping it. <laughs> or do you, do you like initials or something? You should have somebody else who's got great handwriting be your signer. It's like, this be is like, I'm here in person, and but this person's going to sign for me. <laughs> this is, say hello to Janet, everybody. She is my resident signer for today. Because by the time I got done signing stuff, you probably wouldn't be able to know who actually did it. <laughs> It'd be lines and bumps. <laughs> I found a crystal. Okay. Oh, nice. We'll just shove that in the tote over there until... <laughs> we try to clean it. Have them sign one of the crystals? No, I'm just kidding. <sighs> I'm debating if I want to, like... Like, is there anything else I can keep in the sign? I need to, oh, I have my bag. I have my bag that says, um, um, uh, keep calm and read on, that I cut down and remade into a new bag. They can sign in the back of that. Mm hmm That'd be awesome. I had a, that would be cool. I wish I had one like that. I had a, a leather iPad cover that everybody had signed, but it wore off so bad you can even tell that anybody had Ooh. Yeah, that wasn't awesome. I was kind of sad. I have pictures of it. It's on my Pinterest, so I still technically have it. <laughs> well, I'm going to get this sign, but I'm debating what to do with it. That's cool. Yeah, I got this at Barnes & Noble. Can I just get, like, a? I want to, like, I'm going to grab a silver Sharpie. Like silver, silver sharpies. I'm gonna like pull all the pull all the covers off, and I'm like like fold them the opposite direction so they can sign all of these too. <laughs> Dang, you're really gonna give them like carpal tunnel. Like because like here, here's my here's my 23 books. Oh wait, don't forget to sign the covers too. Three things to sign. Oh no, I'm going all out. I'm gonna like put um. You should do this with your books. Pull it in so that it's on the page that you want them to sign, and then put the flap over it. So then all they got to do is just open it, and I, I have it that I'm going to put on the, the top of it so they know who to sign the book to. It goes so oh, much Good idea. Yeah, it goes so much faster. I learned that when I went to see Tahara Mafi, Anna Carey, and Veronica Rossi, and Brody um, Action. Um, mm -hmm. uh, Earthly, Shatter Me, uh, Under the New Sky, and um, geez, those books uh, yeah, over at Books in Miami, they gave you post-its to put on all your books. Write your name. I was going to say, when yeah. I went to uh, see Rochelle Mead, she did the, they did the same thing there. I had a stack of books. I had like three books for Rochelle Mead. <laughs> 23. <laughs> then, of course, on... 23. I hope I get to go to LeakyCon. Well, it used to, it was LeakyCon last year. Now it's GeekyCon. I'm sorry. Hey, I told you over two, three years ago, because I, I, God, I've known you forever, you know, to use one of my secondary sites, and you didn't even have to, like, do anything with it. All you had to do is email the reviews, and I would post them on there, and it would be your site to do. But no, that wasn't that wasn't good enough. You didn't want to. Oh, oh, she's going that route. Okay. <laughs> and you would have been able, good enough. And you would have been able to have a website and get in for free, hopefully, if it would have done good enough. Hopefully. <laughs> Let's move this this way. I don't think you guys need to see my toothbrush. <laughs> but. Yeah, they're, they are going to have a ton of awesome people. I'm concerned about getting books signed are the, uh, the Shadow and Storm. Shadow and Storm, is that right? From Labor. Ooh. Is that thunder? Yeah. Holy crap. Really we are thundering have over here. But, um. See my lovely skirt here, and oh, my underpants! Oh, sorry. <laughs> <laughs> wow. 
Whoops. That, that didn't happen. Ooh, there it is. Shadow and Bone. She will be there. I'm going to get these signed. I want to read that series. This is awesome. I've read book one and two. There's, like, dust on it. And then uh, Veronica Rupp is going to be there, author of the Divergent series. Get those. I still haven't read that. You haven't read that? I saw the movie. <laughs> Do you I know, read it. You know what happens at the end of Insurgent? Or yeah. of Allegiant? You don't know what happens at the end of Allegiant? You're going to nope, be so never... mad. You're going to be so Am mad. I? You're going to be so mad. Mad. She dies, doesn't she? Yeah. What? Yeah. I mean, it kind of works. I mean, I know a lot of people were pissed off about that, which, you know, but, you know, it just, it made it more real. You know, that even though she's a main character, she's not immortal. She can still die. You can still die. If you get shot in the heart, you ain't coming back. You know, you are I'm alive. You know. <laughs> you know, you like, shot me, but I'm still alive. I'm the main yeah, character. You know, like, all these other different shows, you know, like Supernatural and, um, I don't know, like a whole bunch of other things, you know, just because you die doesn't mean you're going to stay that way. Don't worry. Somebody will find a way to bring you back, you know? It's, it's like, she dead. She ain't coming back. <laughs> dang. Dang. I'm, I still want to read it, okay? I still want to read really it. It was good, though. It was really good. Um, I, I wish that they would, because that one, it, cor it um, alternates between Triss and Four's point of views. I think it would have been better if she would have just stayed in Triss's point of view until she kicked and then switched to Four's would have made more sense. And then the extra chapters that she had written in Four's point of view could have went into that book for Four, you know, called Four mm -hmm. with, the, with the Ferris wheel on it. So that would have been fine. But that's the only issue I had with that book is that she should have left it in Triss's point of view. I think it would have been a lot better. It wouldn't give... Well, good for her for killing off a main character. Yeah. Well, uh... She's brave. J.K. <laughs> Rowling was going to do that with Harry Potter so nobody could come back and write about him in, like, you know, 20, 30 years. You're right. J.K.'s going to die, and somebody's going to be like, oh, time to make Harry Potter sequels. Well, I know somebody the sequels. already did the sequels. Uh, with, like, his son. Um, it's on Goodreads. You can download it. Somebody did some kind of, uh, like, thingy, you know, uh, what is it, fan fiction or whatever? Mm-hmm. I'm gonna die. So what are you reading right now? Guess we can do this while we're on here. What am I reading? I'm reading the Ugh. I still haven't gotten very far because of my kitty. You're just waiting for Red Queen. I am. I'm reading this. Oh, that's right. Firstborn. Yes. How do you like it so far? Uh within the first fourteen pages, I like it. <laughs> <laughs> My cat got fixed last. Oh, my cat got fixed last week, and she wasn't eating. She was protesting and hating us. So we had to take her to the doctor, and I was so worried. She lost like a pound, and I'm like, "You're too skinny." Oh, it sounds like a dog. So, back when I was like 11, um, he got hit by a car and broke his jaws, so he had to wire it shut. So he couldn't eat hard dog food. We had to give him the canned stuff, and he just kind of looked at us like, "Yo, what? Can eat this?" You're trying to poison me. I'm not eating this. And he just kind of huffed and walked away and went down. We ended up, I think we ended up um, giving him, like, the hard dog food and then, like, soaking it in, like, milk or something mm -hmm. so he could actually eat it. It was horrible. Yeah, you you know when animals are upset with you. They don't talk to you. They don't look at you. they just not your best friend anymore. No, I don't love you no more. Goodbye. He, that's how she was because we got her fixed on Thursday, and every day since is my her from we got her back, and then she stopped eating until Monday. Took her into the doctor's. She became my best friend yesterday. I have cords out of the way so I can shut the door. <laughs> So, I am finishing up my Monday meme book, and I, of course, went to grab the cover and then completely forgot to grab it under the computer. Nope. I'm, like, so cheating day. I'm not, I didn't even turn on the big computer. I'm on the little bitty laptop. <sighs> but I am finishing up this book. 
that I've had for a while now. Oh, yeah. That book is awesome. Then the next one I'm going to be starting is this one. I love that cover. So do I. Uh, I have, they sent me book two. This is actually my copy because um, I had a copy. <laughs> Of course, it's always on the bottom. This has no bottom. <laughs> we. So there's the ARC of book two. This is out in July. I have no idea what this hmm. is because I never, I never read the inside flaps. So, this one deals with killers again. I'm kind of like. Connecting all my books, like I did with the aliens. So I just got done reading Killer Instinct and Killer Within, and that deals with serial killers. This deals with the gene that they decide is the killer gene, which they call the AHTS, which is, I think, hom homicidal tendency syndrome. And mm -hmm. you, uh, I guess they started doing this thing, which every chapter like alternates between, like, this is a phone call to text messaging to just, like, Texas ordinance number, blah, 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 modifying Title II police action of persons under the age of 35 years of age. Like, if you're under 35, these are the rules you have to abide by if you are a carrier of the um, disease or the gene. Um, and this girl finds out that she has it, and she's a prodigy, so she's, like, she can learn any instrument within a couple of days. I did that with the violin. She can sing. Um, she is on the track to be going to Juilliard and all this stuff and then she finds out that she has this gene. So then she gets taken out of school. No more no more pretty pretty high school. She gets put into the public school where they're down in like the basement type thing in what they call the cage because there's like chain link fence around around them. And um she uh ends up um her, she tells her boyfriend, and at first he just kind of, like, freaks out and leaves, and then he comes back deciding that um, he's going to stick with her anyway, that it doesn't matter. So they go to a party, and things happen there, and they go outside, and she ends up slapping him across the face because he's being an ass, where then her supposed friends turn her in to the agency where then she gets basically ripped out of school at the cage, taken to the center, strapped down, and branded with the H in a circle in her neck. And it's tattooed, branded and tattooed, so it ain't going nowhere. That I read last night a little bit past midnight, and I'm like, I'm not, I don't want to stop. I want to keep reading. Um, I haven't been to because we were watching TV. We were trying to get through all of our, our um, taped shows. But I've got, like, see, I'm at Chapter 21. I'm at, like, page 244. I've got a little bit over 100, 100 pages left. So I'm going to finish this one and then start Dissidents and go from there. Um, I may not start this until after tomorrow because as soon as I get Amber Smoke, I'll probably start, start and finish that one tomorrow. Well, hey, I'm going to the store. I'll be at the store tomorrow at around, like, 3 o'clock, give or take. I don't know what time I'll be there. I work. Because I want to get there early because more than likely they're going to be packed. So I want to get there early enough that, you know, I can sit down, I can take a load off, you know, I can find some place to go stash the husband and the small child and stuff. But keep one for you to hold on to your stuff. No, 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 no. no. <laughs> um, Anna Reese, I mean, she's okay. She's four. She'll be five in, in November, but... If I'm going to be there for a while, I don't really want her. You know. Oh, your oldest will be at school, won't she? No, school's out. School's been out. Where have you been? Don't keep... I don't go to school. I don't have kids. I don't have to worry about that stuff. I just babysit. How old are you again? 21. Oh, that's right. Wow. Yeah. I, <laughs> I was pregnant. I'm Still a baby. At 21. I was pregnant with Indarn at 21. Yeah. yeah. My mom has already had her third kid by my age. Yeah. Oh, wow. <laughs> Are you the yeah. oldest or the baby or the middle or? 
I'm the oldest. You're the oldest. Okay. So how? Because you have a younger sister, right? That's like in darn age. I have four younger siblings. Oh my god. My mom has two from my mother and then two from my dad. Oh, okay. Two half siblings that are. Okay. You. Huh? How old is everybody else underneath of you? Uh, one's a year, one's two years. So it's so what? We're 21, 20, 19, and oh. then 13 and 12. So she's still got kids in school. My dad does. Oh, okay. They're my half siblings. Oh, okay. That's a that's a lot of kids. Just a little. Just a little, <laughs> not a lot. I kind of realize that by the time that Indarin gets ready to graduate high school, by the time she gets ready to graduate high school, Anna Reese will just be starting middle school. That makes me feel so incredibly old. <laughs> yeah. Because they're six years old. Oh, yeah. Yeah, that's crazy. Oi. Yeah. Oi. I think I, I think I was like seven or eight when my, no, eight or nine when my younger sister was born. And she's in sixth grade. I don't know. What grade are they in when they're 12? 12, uh, let's see, and Darren will be... 11 this year, and she's going into 6th grade, so has her birthday passed? Yeah, she's from March. Okay, so then she should be going into, what, 7th grade? Is that right? <sighs> Sounds like it. Goodness, I can't keep up. I just remember a baby. No. <laughs> she was like she's that big. Right? Mm -hmm. Okay, so and Darn will be 11 going into 6th grade. So, yeah, she should be 12 going into 7th. Unless she started at 4, then she would be going into 8th. I think she's going into seven. Seven sounds about right. Anna Reese was Goodness. so excited to be able to, to do uh, P, what is it, a VPK this year. She's like, I get to go to school. Mm -hmm. Yeah, say that. When Aww. Okay, so dissonance. I wonder if I'm even pronouncing that correctly. Dissonance. Looks dissonance. right to me. Dissonance. It says some, de some decisions have unimaginable consequences. Every time someone makes a choice, a new parallel world is spun off the existing one. That sounds complicated right there. I don't know about that. I don't know about that. Eating I watch Doctor Who, so. Well, it's the thing is that, is it done in a way that I'm not going to get confused? Because, like, <laughs> Sarah J. Mass does it very well. You know, she her books are in multiple points of views, but it's done mm -hmm. in a way that I'm not lost. I know yeah going on and every time the point of view changes I know I know I can pick it right back up of where it was where it left off you know no problems then you've got these books like the story spinner where you've got like I think that one had I think seven point of views and everything's completely different because they're all in different areas and then they're all like up each other's butts and it's just like I got so confused with that book it is so, oh my god. And that's the other thing is that it, it does each character, can you tell whose head you're in when you're reading it? Mm -hmm. if each one doesn't have their own voice. You start overlapping characters and then that just doesn't work. Now the one that I just finished, Kiss of Deception, that was really good. Everybody had their own voice. It's in three points of views. You know who, had, who, who you were talking about, you know, as soon as you started reading that specific chapter. So you didn't even need the chapter headings at all. It just, it worked. But let's see. So, um, eating breakfast or skipping it, sneaking out instead of staying in bed, every decision creates an alternate universe in which an echo self takes the road, not travel. As a walker who can navigate between these realities, Dell is training to help keep the dimensions in harmony. When Dell secretly starts to investigate other worlds, she gets tangled up with an echo of her longtime crush. She knows she shouldn't keep seeing him, but as Del persists, she uncovers the truth that the Council of Walkers is trying to hide. A secret that a secret that threatens the entire multiverse. Oh hey. Hmm. It actually sounds good. Have you heard of Torn Tangled and Bound? No. Apparently those are her no. other books. 
Torn sounds really familiar. I wonder, I probably own it. If it's the cover that I think it is, it's got like a girl in it that's doing like this with red hair, then I've actually, I actually own that book. Hmm. See, this is why I'm glad I started that other, um, that other meme for the, the Wednesday thing. For the, no, it's not. Okay, this has got a purple girl on it, but I know I've seen it before. I probably own it. Um, because I've got all these ebooks that I don't touch mm -hmm. most of the time. So, yeah, um, I think that would um, really come in handy to start reading those. I guess there is a novella called Harmonic. Hmm. I wonder when this one's set. Okay, so it's actually set between these two. So it's the, the one that is in the middle of them. I'm going to go add that to my wish list just because <laughs> I know if I don't, I'll forget. And that would yeah. not be good. Okay, we'll add that one to the wish list too. Okay. Yeah, some of these books just aren't working out so well for me. But yeah, so that's going to be the next one. I might go ahead and start this today. I don't know. We'll find out. Because, I mean, I could probably finish this by tonight. It's like 400 pages, a little bit over 400 pages. I know. I read so damn fast. <laughs> it's like, go away, Jessica. Just go away. Nobody wants to know how fast you can read. I love reading. Comes in handy, though. Reading fast, yes. Yes. I have been in a reading funk. I have not wanted to read anything. I started, well, I, I, I finished Ivy, The House of Ivy and Sorrow, and that, I mean, that was okay. It wasn't, oh, my God, amazing or anything. Um, and then I was going to read The Falconer, and I had gotten almost halfway through it, and then I realized, oh, wait a minute. I have book two to this. I don't have time to read book two to this right now. So it went on the back burner to read in, like, two months when book two is a month before it comes out when I was supposed to be reading it. It's like, wow. That's, uh, that's so wrong. <laughs> I wish I had those problems. So, <laughs> we have viewers. Well, we had a viewer. Viewer left. Oh, well. Oh, now I they're, they. I wonder who it is. That's the only thing I don't like about this, that it doesn't tell you who, tell you who's viewing. It just tells you that they're there. They're there. <laughs> We're being stalked, Rachel. It's creepy. Isn't it? So I wonder if they're going to have any other any other um, like high powered or main you know authors at Inkwood Books because yeah. that would be really cool yeah that would they you know I looked back at the past stuff and I really haven't seen anything yeah, like it this seems like really these are the first. Yeah, everybody else that I've seen on there because I know they had one um a couple of days ago or where it's like next month or something, but it's not like this, you know. Yeah, mm. I'm hoping maybe they'll know from like what happens tomorrow night that maybe they'll be like, oh hey, we can make some money. Sounds Let's bring in some more, you know, like Rochelle Mead or you know. I just kind of hope Sandra Claire. I just hope that you don't, they don't, they're not going to require, I mean, if it's people like this, that they're not always going to require you to buy a book from them, because that would get expensive really, really fast. Yeah. Yeah. They could, because they could always do, like, an at-the-door fee or something, you know, like, five dollars, or... They, like, pay five bucks to get in. Yeah, and you get, like, swag, and book signing, and pictures, and a Q&A, and that kind of stuff. Now I want to own a bookstore so I can do stuff like that.
I like getting books. Ooh, what are you getting now? Um, it's actually a book two. Um, it is, uh, what is this book two, too? I don't remember what the name of book one was. I did not like the cover to this because I don't mm -hmm. think it, it, it didn't fit it as well as what it should because it, it this looks more contemporary. Um, let me go look it up and then I'll show you the cover. But this is called A Girl Undone um, by Catherine Lynx. It's book two to A Girl Called Fearless. And it is about um, a world where uh, people can't get pregnant or something. I don't remember. Um, it says uh, it's an indie next pick and it was really, really good. I just didn't like the cover. I think they, of all the books that I've read, and I really hate it when they change the covers and stuff. But this one, I think it, it, need, it, need, it needs an update because it doesn't fit the story. Um, and this, I can share this here. Hold on a second. Uh, screen share. Desktop. Print everyone. Whoa. <laughs> can you see this now? <laughs> yeah. See that cover? Can you see the cover? I'm going to take Oh, yeah. Okay, so see, like, there's that cover. If you saw that cover, what would you think it was? I think it's, like, a thriller or a contemporary. It doesn't really yeah. look all that much other than the name. Um, yeah. You know, it doesn't really look like, uh, you know, the, the high-powered teen books. Um, but it would it, be a book I'd pick up right away. Yeah. I wasn't even going to read it. When I got the, the ARC in the mail for it, I wasn't even going to read it. But then I decided to go mm -hmm. ahead and do so. And I'm really happy that I did. So um, it's about um, Ava Reverie. Reverie. I cannot pronounce the people's name. Um, ha she has a normal life of a, privi yeah, of a privileged teen growing up in L.A., at least as normal as any girl's life is these days. After synthetic hormone in beef killed 50 million American women 10 years ago, only young girls, old women, men, and boys are left to pick up the pieces. Because um, it was... The only people that survived, if I remember, were the people that were either out of the menstruation. You know, I know people really don't want to hear this, but they were like they had already gone through menopause, or people who haven't, who, who hadn't gone into puberty yet. So, if you were under that age or above that age, you were good. If you were in the middle of that age, you know, like me, I would have, <clears throat> I'd have died. You know? Yeah, I'd have been by <laughs> no books. <laughs> like you're dead. Uh, the death threat is passed, but fathers still fear for their daughter's safety, and the parentalist movement began to protect young women is taking over the choices they make. So it basically went back into the fact of that um, now your husband or your father owns you. They decide oh, man. this, this, or that, and all this stuff. Uh, like all her friends, Ava still mourns the loss of her mother, but she's also dreaming about college and love and what she'll make of her life. When her dad contracts her to marry a rich older man to raise money to save his struggling company, her life suddenly narrows to two choices. Be trapped in a marriage with a controlling politician or run. Her lifelong friend, student revolutionary Yates, urges her to run to freedom across the border to Canada. As her friendship turns to passion, the decision to leave becomes harder and harder. Running away is incredibly dangerous, and it's possible Ava will never see Yates again, but staying could mean death. So, um... What it goes into is about, like, her running away and all the struggles and stuff like that and dealing. I think there was um, um, the uh, rebels in it and stuff, and it ends on a cliffhanger, FYI, uh, and stuff like that. So so this book, too, is going to be really interesting, and they're sending it to me in print, so I'll get to do a giveaway. Woohoo! Nice. That sounds good. I want to read it copy of book one. Oh, well, the, the Kindle copy, I will post the link. It is only two ninety nine. Okay. On Amazon. Can't, can't beat that. Nope. Well, unless it's free. Well, yeah, unless it's free. <laughs> <laughs> unless it's free. Our author, we need, we need to badger. <laughs> Whoops. Their books talked about. <laughs> I have like a, I have a, uh, a thing, um, a promo, money. So that works. So how much did I actually pay for this? I hate, I hate on Amazon that it won't tell you how much your promotional 
credit is, so you have no idea how much it is. You just know you have it. So unless you keep all the emails and you add it all. How do you do that? Huh? How do you do that? What? The promo thing. Oh, like um, if you have um, if you choose the, the normal sleep shipping versus the two day shipping, then they give you a dollar for like an ebook. Really? Yeah. Ooh, and I just got the book in print. Nice. Wonder if I already have this book. I maybe I should check that first. Just a little. I've done that. Might be important. <laughs> Oh my god, I'm so horrible at this. Okay, no, I do not have this book in print. Okay, so that's been taken care of. See, like this free, no brush shipping, get a dollar for ebooks, digital music, and videos. Nice. And that's through Amazon Prime? Yeah. So there. I now officially own that copy in both print and ebook because it was awesome. <sighs> oh, look, there's my email for my order confirmation. <laughs> I wonder if she's on here. What's her name? C-H-A something or other, Catherine. <laughs> what am I doing? I'm like, I'm on Goodreads, and I'm going to go look her name up on Twitter instead of just clicking her, her profile. That's horrible. <laughs> oh, she follows me. Nice. Time to ask her to be on author chat. Yeah, that's actually what I was <laughs> I'm going to start retweeting them. Doing, huh? I'm going to start retweeting them for you. Yes, retweet. Ugh. Nose. Oh, I swear this cold and crap is its going to kill me eventually. Eventually. Cancel. Well, do you have my phone number or no? Do I, I think so. Okay. So then, like, you can – well, you, I guess you can always message me on Facebook, too. Um, like, let me know when you're, like, on your way to the awesome store. Where did that <laughs> – oh, there it is. I was like, where did that code go? The code disappeared. Okay. Yeah, I wish that Fandango would use would use uh, Kindle. Kindle. Yeah, that would be really nice. Hmm. Or iBooks. Hmm. Or iBooks. Yeah, e I mean, either one would be fine. Well, I have books on there that, like, suck. Oops. <laughs> Um, well, that's done. Okay, so I guess we are done here, and I am so bored, and this website is not being very nice to me. I swear, the internet is slowly dying. That's all there is to it. It is. It's slowly croaking. We're going to wake up, and it's just going to be gone. That's all there is to it. <laughs> I'm not even joking. I'm not. I'm not joking. We're just going to wake up one day and I'm going to go see the look on Facebook or the books for trade and it's just whoop, not going to be there. We're all going to freak out. <laughs> You're like, oh my god! Yeah, so uh, before we come to um... Oh, no, after. That's right. It's going to be after. It's going to be way after. Well, poo. I guess I'm not watching that tomorrow. Man, we were going to go watch uh, Jurassic World tomorrow night. Mm-hmm. 
But I don't think that's going to happen because the last showing is at like 10.30. Oh, yeah. Yeah. And the husband kind of has to work the next day, so it's probably not going to be awesome. Fooey. Okay, so you totally need to go finish Firstborn, and I yep. need to finish Uninvited, so I can drool about not having book two. <laughs> I'm going to go cry. She's like, the, the author posts, like, you know, well, it's, it's, it's for, it's, you know, it's up for sale and stuff, and I'm just thinking to myself, yeah, I understand that it's up for sale, but I am poor. Yeah. Poor. Yeah, I second that. Poor. Us poor, poor. us poor people. Yep. Well, why don't you go to college? College is free now, remember? I do go to college. I'll be starting back up in fall. Oh, okay. So what are you going to college for? Business. I'm getting my business degree. And what can you do with that when you're done? I don't know. Probably nothing. You never do anything with degrees. <laughs> What's the point of getting them if you can't use them? I'm becoming a McDonald's worker with my business degree. Well, I guess like a business degree, I mean, depending on, I mean, what's your physical major? That. <laughs> this business? Yeah. Do you have a minor at all? Um, No, I haven't thought about a minor. I was thinking of something to do with being a librarian just because books. Well, yeah. Yeah. Um, <laughs> Well, then, you know, what you could probably do if you want to do the whole, you know, business librarian thing, I mean, business deals, most of those classes deal with, you know, how to run a business. Mm -hmm. You know, so basically you could be a manager yeah. in somebody else's business, or you would basically know how to run your own business. With the library thing added on to there, you could, well, I mean, you could become a librarian, you know, you could open up your own bookstore. Yes, you I would. Work for another bookstore with that type of degree. Um, I guess it all depends on what you want to do. You could always, like, change your major to, like, English or something with the li librarian thing on there and be an English teacher or a librarian for a school. Mm. Like, change your yeah. major to education with the librarian thing onto it. I was thinking better. education for a while there, but then I was like, nah, I ended up killing people. <laughs> <laughs> be a serial killer. <laughs> yeah, thank you. So that was my Speak problem. English, people. I had started out uh, doing psychology, and then uh, right before did too. down here to Florida, um, I was actually getting ready to change my major to um, social work. Um, mm -hmm. And then minoring in education, and I heard a thing go mm. off, and I don't see it anywhere. I hate that. You hear Facebook or Twitter or something make a noise, but then you go to look at it, and there's just blank. There's nothing there. It's empty. Hmm. I'm looking at all these books that I need to read. I'm looking at all the books I don't have. <laughs> just kidding. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> You can look at all the books you don't have. Yeah, yeah most of those. Like, well, I might see one I might have. No, I'm just kidding. I might have a couple of them in there, but still. Drool. Drool. Well, I see my I, coffee. I, I'm first actually born. crying. I see my coffee of firstborn. Well, I do have that, too. <laughs> Twinsies. Is this, is this just a standalone? Right now it is. She's working on book two. Okay. It was awesome. Back when I read it, it wasn't going to be um, a series. Mm -hmm. It was just standalone to begin with. And I was not very happy about that. That's <laughs> an expensive book, though. Yeah, $16 for this tiny thing. I love this. I mean, I think it's more expensive than one of my bigger books. I know the cover is so pretty. Gotta let Lori know. It's like, Lori, you're being pimped. If you guys, if people, if you have not read this. 
Did you win that from the one? Yeah, it was from you. Like, what, 80% of your books you won from the show or something? <laughs> Maybe. <laughs> Most likely. See, my next thing of books for my Thursday TBR list, I think it's these. I don't even know. They're, that tells you how much I'm paying attention to anything. <laughs> Your own stuff. <laughs> I'm I no I swear like if I didn't have my if my calendar died tomorrow I wouldn't know what I was going to read next I I wouldn't know he'd be like I'm lost I don't know what to do with myself I'm always lost I know the feeling the books have found me <laughs> Thursday oh there it is it's like I have to go look this up to go see okay so oh it's an, it's the anthology so I lied it's not me. These. So I have, I, this is all the anthologies that I had. So it's all nothing but like short stories. And I haven't th had the best of time with short stories. I don't like short stories. So I, really I was just going to put them all up for, for um, trade. But then I thought, well, maybe I should attempt to read them first. One of those books is, is something from Something from Hell. In there, right? No. That's the other ones that are in my trade list. I was going to say, one of them has PC Cast in it. Or <gasps> Kristen Cast. <gasps> something from Hell. Like Prom from Hell or Kiss from Hell or something like that. One of them has PC Cast in it. <clears throat> and I was wondering why you were putting out for trade. And it's going to be up here with the paperbacks. Ha <laughs> ha, there they are. Let's see. Yeah, one of the casts is in it, if I remember correctly. I found it. Whether or not if I can reach it. Don't let the books fall on you. I've done that. It doesn't feel very good. I bet. <laughs> yes, one of the casts? Yes. Kristen Which cast. one is it? Kristen. Kristen, okay. I knew it was one of the casts. I saw it online. Oh, Rochelle Mead is in this, Allison Noel, Kristen Cast, Kelly Armstrong, and Francesca Leah Block. All right, so the bottom two I do not know, but the rest of them are great authors. <laughs> Could uh, you imagine getting that book signed? Kelly Armstrong, she wrote the Summoning series. Oh, I've seen that. Yeah. Uh, I like the covers of those. That, I started the summoning a while back ago, and then ended up having to start something else, but it was really good. That was when I was trying to go through all that, all those books, and just read, like, the first 50, 200 pages. Mm-hmm. But it, it was pretty good for what I read. I did not like her new series. Um, I think the new book, newest book was, like, Empire of the Night or something. I didn't like that mm -hmm. one. It was so slow. I don't remember what the first one was. I was like, a Shadow, Shadow of something. I don't remember. Because mm -hmm. um, I had that in hardback for like forever. Oh, my nose itches. Yeah, Empire of Night is the second book in that series. Oh, she also wrote Bitten, which is, you know, a TV show. Or at least it was. Oh, Sea of Shadows. She oh, wrote... yeah. That one's got the cool cover on it. Yeah, and it's got like the red on the cover. Yeah, that book sucked. Mm -hmm. I'm so oh. sorry. Like, nothing happened. That sucks. It would be awesome. But, yeah, I guess so. I've got an extra book to take with me. Yay. <laughs> you would have found, you would have looked at your books the day after, and you would have been like, what? Well, I wasn't going to keep this one. I know you weren't. I saw it on your trade. That's why I had to mention it. I'm like, Jessica, you should be getting that signed, and then you can trade it for a good book. I'm going to go bye-bye. But now it goes into the stuff to get signed. Well, you can trade it for a really good book now. Yeah. Like, ooh, do I have anything else from them? <laughs> that I don't know that I have. Yeah, I don't know if they did. <laughs> What's well, like the little mask yeah. ones? I didn't even know that I even still had those. Mm. They were there. Yeah. Hiding in the side before I rearranged everything. 
But yeah, so that's the next thing that I'm going to be doing is the novellas. So I've got 2 and 20 Dark Tales, which I thought was kind of cool. Back when this first came out, they used my review. I wish it would have been on the actual book, but they used my review in their marketing of it. Nice. Which I was thought that was really cool. I really loved how they put all the names on it. Mm -hmm. so like all in the background. It's so pretty. That is cool. It makes it look all creepy and dark. <laughs> yeah, I'm not sure everybody who's in this. Like now I'm gonna look at all these anthologies. I'm like, am I <laughs> somebody? <laughs> yeah, I keep looking at those what you calls it's from hells because those have a lot of authors in them. Yeah, so that goes with that. And then I've got Melissa Mars, Fairy Tales, and Nightmares. Ooh. And then I like the cover. That's my nose. This one says end more. See who's in this one. Like, now I'm going to check all these things. I got to check. <laughs> okay, no. Nobody's in this. So this is foretold. This one was edited by Carrie Ryan, the author of The Forest of Hands and Teeth and the new book. Uh, oh, excuse me. What is it called? Uh, deep, deep Sleep of Silence or s Deep Silence of Sleep or Daughter of Deep Silence. I don't know. It was an awesome book. I can't remember the title, but it was awesome. This one's got uh, Lori or Lanny Taylor, Diana Peter Freud or whatever, Lisa McCann, Meg Cabold, I cannot pronounce these people's names. Well, just, just, there's all the people. <laughs> I didn't notice they were those people. That. Yeah, but I love these covers. Isn't that gorgeous? I do like that one. I like the shiny, the words are shiny. Yeah, I like that. Yeah. These words are just shiny. These words are all red. I like it. Then I got this one. This one's got Rachel Kane in it. Mm-hmm. Pulling this sticker off the back of it. Okay, so this one is Shards and Ashes. Oh my god, my nose. I do like that cover. And then I've got Grim. That's a pretty cover. And this is a hardback, but this is just the cover. There. It didn't have, like, an actual cover cover on it. It has this cool little little thingy in it. It's kind of cool. It's like hot pink. I mean, I like that. Hot pink. And this has got all these people on it. More or, people. <laughs> got <laughs> And then I've got Enthralled. That's a pretty cover. And there's a book, too, to this as well. And everything start, started to bling. <laughs> well, not exactly sure what this is. What is it? Um, it says about a reference property or something, but I have no idea who that even is. Odd. That's a little weird. We will just put that in to the spam folder mm -hmm. because I have no idea what it is. Some of this stuff is really, really weird. It's like, you never click a link that you don't know who it's from because right. that's just not cool. <laughs> well, you never know what's going what's gonna to be in it. Yeah, you know? I'd rather not have a virus. 
Yeah, it could be a virus or something. So it's like you go to you go go open it. Go open it um, on somebody else's computer. <laughs> <laughs> your enemy's computer. Yes. Yes. Kidnap your enemy's computer and then open it on theirs. <laughs> that sounds like a plan. Great. I do not live in Uruguay, people. I get those, too. Like, every time I go to... Oh. I go to um, fill out forms, and, you know, I click Florida, and then it's like... Uh, it um, once... Um, it goes like the federal Federation of something or other, which is really weird. Yep. And I'm like, like I'm in the United uh, States, Florida. <laughs> <sighs> this is weird, though. So go look up the email address. But yeah, um, anything that is not on uh, that is not something I'm going to keep out of these novellas and stuff for that meme goes into the books for trade. Mm -hmm. Like, I need any more books to get rid of. <laughs> hey, at least you can get good books in return. Here's hoping. Well, yeah, like this one, because this one's going to get signed tomorrow. Right? Somebody put up a hardcover of Throne of Glass up there, and, like, everybody was asking for it. Oh, my God. They can't have mine. Everybody and their mothers. Mine's over there. It's right That's there. That's a good book. I need that series. It's right there, so you can see all of them. They're all in hardback with my throat spray. Yeah, I see that right there. And the copy of A Court of Thorn and Roses is over there, too. I need to read that one, too. So pretty. <sighs> Oi. I'm so bored. Ugh. So are you coming to read on? I don't think I have another one. It's like the 30th. Oh, I need to get my bag so I can, like, bag all the time. They're gonna like see me with this bag coming and they are gonna run the other direction. They're gonna be like, um, we have other things to do. Sorry, we gotta go. Canceled. <laughs> you can't come in. Right. right? right. They're like, oh, we're at our capacity. I like that bag. My lovely Vera Bradley bag. I was just about to ask. That is pretty. I like the color. So mm -hmm. in the mail, I got this one and this one. I like this one. It's pretty. I do like that cover. The securities. Yeah, the only thing I've gotten into the in the mail recently was this book. Let me find yes. it. <laughs> this book. Oh, that one. I have that one. It's pretty. I need book three. Oh, because you have book two. I only have book one. Yeah. <laughs> And I still haven't even read this yet. <laughs> I don't think I've read book two. Out, or Did I read book two? I know I've read book one. I actually don't think I've read Is it good? Yeah, it's actually really good. Okay, good, good, good. I traded for a good book at least. <laughs> <laughs> I was worried I wasn't going to get a good book. Well, here, I'm on here. Just, like, go grab some books off your shelf that you don't know if you want to read them or not, and I will let you know if they're worth it or not. Because I don't I, – I think the only book that you – so far that you liked that I thought was kind of slow was Die For Me. I love that book. It's okay, but I don't know. It's, it's so slow. I thought it was good. Once you get past this slow part, it's good. So slow. 
I a little predictable, but good. Because, like, none of those have the places. I don't even know what places even are. Oh, well, I'll just tell Miss Jessica. Is okay. this book good? For you. No. 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 No? Okay. No. No, I All right. Get, getting getting rid of it. And, oh, my God. That's almost worse than the, than the Delirium series. Okay, okay, I'm getting rid of that. <laughs> I swear, if you want something that's a lot, that one, yes, 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 yes. Okay, okay. <laughs> if you want something that's along the lines, and my bag's going to trip me here, if you want something along the lines of the Delirium series that deals with stuff like that, read this one instead, because this one was amazing. Is that the Susan Young ones? This is the program, the... Program, the... This is the treatment. That's book two, and then this was the prequel, the remedy that just came out. I want to read those. You had a giveaway for those, I think, not too long ago, and I'm like, come on. Yeah, because she was on the read-on. Didn't win that one. Oh, these are signed. No, these aren't signed. All right, next book. What is that? Evernight. Yes, keep that one. I have all those. Okay. Uh, fangirl. I don't even. I... I won this one in a giveaway. This one right here. Um, well, you're not sitting at your seat. Yeah. Um, I liked Evernight because you don't really know what's going on with it until, like, the middle of the book. Mm -hmm. It was awesome. Okay, what's that one? Um, that one, I have, book, I have books one, two, and three um, around here somewhere. I have read Heart of book one. Mm -hmm. um, it's okay. I need to finish them. I have them. I only have book two. I won this in a giveaway. Yeah, I know. From the read on. <laughs> From you. <laughs> so she's the author of... What is that one? Oh, yes. Keep that one, too. It's not... Oh, it's not a book, sadly. Uh, you, the the light something behind. signed. Okay. The the light behind you glares yeah. really bad, so I couldn't even see what it was. Oh, there you go. Okay. Yeah, it's just a signed postcard. Yeah, that book was really good, though. The only thing I didn't yeah. like each of the chapter headings um, is, like, the guys debriefing in about them getting off the planet, and I'm like, well, that just kind of kills all, all this stuff together. Dead. All right. Of course, yes. I, I don't have book one either. <laughs> well, see, for anything that you need a book one to or book two to, just write them down so then when you go to Jacksonville, you can, like, look for those first. That one I actually didn't like. I love the cover to that. I, have a I love the cover. I have a poster, but I did not like the actual book. Mm -hmm. I think I'd only keep it for the cover. Yep, that's like the Magonia. Yeah, that one wasn't good either. The Magonia thing, I I wanted I want a poster without the title on it. But that's it because the book sucks. Mm -hmm. That one was okay. That was one of the ones that I thought it was supposed to be a paranormal and it's not. It's a contemporary thriller type thing cuz she's in a um she's in a uh she's in a cult. For a religious call, mm -hmm. I think that what the end of the world is coming. So that one was kind of a letdown for me. But you know, that's just for me. Mm. I didn't particularly like it. I thought of it. I think I gave it a three star. That one I haven't read. No, you haven't. <laughs> I actually have one you haven't read. Wow, I think I have it. That's what. <laughs> Or did they? Oh wait, yeah, death. wait. I think I do have that. I think that's one of the ones that they changed the they changed the title of it. Yeah, it's by Victoria Laurie. Death. Or maybe they didn't. No, they didn't. That just came out, actually. Yeah, that was back from back in January. Yeah. Wow, it's the newest one I have. All right, that's it. 
It's my small pile of books. Okay, yeah, that one, it has the same cover, but um, mm -hmm. when it published, they uh, changed the title to Win. W-H-E-N. So it's no longer Death Date. So I lied. That oh, was okay. Good. Was good? Yeah, that one was pretty good. Okay, okay, I'm keeping that one then. All right, so get rid of two books. My pile has gotten smaller now. Until tomorrow. <laughs> Don't let <laughs> me add one extra one, which I can't tell you if that one's good or not because I haven't read it either. Great. Have any more? That's all? That's all you have that you haven't read? Well, you suck. Right? I've got... Control pile. Yeah, I've got, like, I've got these. And let's see, what else? Then I've got all of these. Let's see. Those. I'll just cry those. over here. And those. Some of those are ARC, so they kind of don't count. Then I've got this one. This is called The Guardian of Threshold. Hmm. Maybe I should turn on the light. <laughs> that might be a little bit better. There we go. I can see. Yay. I will shove you up here in the thing that I got these. And book one is like floating around here in paperback somewhere. Not exactly sure where it is, but it's over here somewhere. Then I've got this one. Ooh, I like that cover. And this one. I like that cover. And these three. <laughs> This is the Across the Universe series. Oh, I want to read that. I've got Taker 25. Mm -hmm. I think this one's signed. Maybe not. No, I think the ARC I had was signed. Excuse me. Suspicion? Oh, there's book one. So I've got Suspicion. Love the I cover. like that cover, actually. And it's actually a maze. There's a girl in the maze. Really? Oh, yeah, I see it now. A thousand pieces of you. I love that cover. That one's an also also one that deals with parallel universes. The Burning Sky. Mm -hmm. We Were Liars. No Parking at the End Times. Asking Again Later. Then I have The Wrath and the Dawn. She's going to be at GeekyCon. Then my Monday meme still has Temptation, Noggin, Valkyrie Rising, which is signed by the author to me. And I want to read that. That, that, one, that one sounds good. Those are all from my Monday meme. So if you want to win a free book, people who are watching this, check out my Monday meme, comment, do what it says to do, and you too can win. Then I got Truth mm -hmm. of the <laughs> Inside Outside. Icons. I want to so see. I want to read that. And deadly cool. I love these covers. They're so pretty. Hmm. I like how they match. The Midnight Garden, which is a book two to the Iron Thorn, the Young Elites, the Balance. I read that. I'm a book two to this in ebook too. So there's those. I'm not done. I've got the entire so far published except for the the original Nightshade series. I had put these up for trade and then decided to attempt to give them a more of a try. So we will mm -hmm. attempt that. Then I've got Abandon and Underworld. There's those. Then I get to go over. Oh, wait, no. Then I, I've got stuff up here. Then I've got No Safety in Numbers. And then Book Two, No Easy Way Out. I've got, P.S., I Still Love You. I have book one of this over around here, floating around here somewhere. Uh, that's from Jenny Han. She's awesome. Then I've got book two of Mark. Was it Shadow of the Mark, I think? Carrie of the Mark. This is book two of Shadow of the Mark. If you can't tell, these are not in any specific order. 
they are just kind of chucked around here. Then I've got the entire Soul Screamer series in bind ups. I think I've got all of them. One, two, four, three, four. I think I have all of them. <laughs> you said four twice. One, yep. two, four, three, four. <laughs> Then I've got Dreaming Anastasia, Haunted, and Anastasia Forever. So I've got all those. Ah, I've got a lot of series. Black City and Phoenix. If you have read any of these, please let me know if they suck or not. Then I've got Mirage, Eternal, and Haven. That is not in the order that you're actually supposed to read them in. <laughs> Shitty cards. Then I've got a whole bunch of little mass make Piper Market bags. Conspiracy of Alchemists. Constantine. Jane Yolen's uh, Sister Light, Sister Dark. This was part of the stuff that I got for free when the used bookstore over here went out of business. Uh, the Winter Queen. And I had like two cars full of books. White. Oh, I remember that, yeah. White Jenna. And. Penny Jordan collection for one and only. I just really like the cover to that. I just thought it was pretty. Looks like a rose. It looked pretty. Then I've got Relic books one and two. I'll just shove those over there. I'm running out of space. Dueled part books one <laughs> and two. <laughs> Infinite Days, book one, <laughs> and book two, Soul and Night. This is about vampires. Ooh. Darkness Before Dawn, book one, <laughs> and book two. I think I like bu book two. Looks prettier. Blood Kiss Guy. I do like that. One. Kind of, this kind of reminds me of Fallen, though. The cover. Yes. Yes, actually, I do see it. Then Hold Me Closer, Necromancer, and Necromancing the Stone, book one and two. <laughs> Next shelf, I have got books one, two, and three of the Monster Blood Tattoo, and these are actually signed, and I am so bad, and I apologize to DM Cornish. He actually sent these to me. These are all the UK copies. These are signed. He sent them to me, I think, um... three or four years ago, and then they got lost, and I couldn't find them, and then I found them again. So these Dang. will actually be going up for giveaway when I get Dang, to that. Jessica. I know! I know, it was that really bad time before I got these bookshelves, and before Donnie had made the other ones that were in the closet, and stuff was just everywhere. So bad. Mm -hmm. Then I've got books one, two, and three of Alice in Zombieland. In hardback. Hmm. I guess if some of these I really don't like and they go up for trade, people are going to be really, really happy for some of these. Right. I've got The Lost Code. This is book one of the Atlanteans. Red Queen. Not the other Red Queen. This is from Christopher Pike. This used to be called Witch World. The Rule of Three. Devil's Kiss. Like trying to get it out of the <laughs> the glare. Blackwood. This one's also signed. Going bovine. This thing's hilarious. <laughs> Dust City. Undeadly. This one's also signed. I think. I won this. Yeah, it's signed. Um. Oh, there's two all the boys I've loved. I've got After Obsession. Torn Away. I love that cover. Amelia, or Amelia Ann is Dead and Gone. Dead Connection. Landry Park with the old cover. Adrenaline Crush. To All the Boys I've Loved. This is actually book one. And this is book two. Look, I can put them together now. <laughs> you were looking for it. 
Every Day by David Leviathan. I really don't like this cover because I always said, like, I thought this was the title when I first saw this. And then I felt kind of stupid. But th this one, <laughs> it's pretty, though. It's kind of cool. Book two to this is on NetGalley. Don't fight. Oh, yeah, you had that up on your whatchamacallit not too long ago. And I was like, ooh, read it. Wild Thorn. Oh, wahabza hubbubba. <laughs> I can't read. <laughs> Oracle. Is that the scientific name? Uh, A U R A C L E. I have no idea. I don't know. The comment Gates of Thread and Stone. Ah, I do want to read that. Crash my nose. Uh, 359. Mystic City. Since You've Been Gone. Good song. I'm just kidding. The Sky is Everywhere. Harbinger, or however you wish to pronounce I really like this cover because it feels like a playing card. <laughs> it, but it does. It feels like a playing card, which is really cool. I love this cover. Kind of actually, you know, this, this, that reminds me of a tarot card. I just kind of thought about that. It actually does. Yeah. She could be like blind justice or something. I never thought about that. Okay, that's going on like, I have to read that, like, ASAP. Then I've got a signed copy of Possess. You haven't read any of these, have you? Nope. <laughs> of course not. One Safe Place. Live Forever. I have that, actually. I had that in ARC. Ooh. Entwined. We should read that together. It is a pretty. I will move that one to the side. Okay. Entwined. I love this one. How this is blurry. Ooh. That's pretty. I like that. Poxy. Actually, it's a cool cover. Maybe one day. Maybe never. I'm just kidding. More than likely. Uh, the space between <laughs> found at the used bookstore at the library. So the library let me go get their copy from the actual library and take the cover off of it and make my own cover in like a copy. So it's like taped inside here. I hate books without the covers. It annoys me. So it has a cover. Yeah, you look different in real life. Do you look different in real life, Rachel? So do you. <laughs> <laughs> so different from behind the screen. <laughs> Pay no attention to the man behind the screen, or behind the curtain, excuse me. They gotta move these back down. Okay. Next, I've got The Unseen, book two. Bind up. So this has got Blood Brothers and Sin and Salvation in it. The Bridge. Spirit Walk, which is book one. It's Walk of the Spirits and Shadow Mirror. Come here. One, which is It Begins and Rest in Peace. Bunheads. Blind Spot for Boys. Don't you have a copy of this? Yes. Uh, unraveling Isabel. Hmm. <laughs> the Last Forever. The Replacement. That looks freaking creepy. Just a little. Just a little. Carnival of Souls. Hmm. Druck. Nope. <laughs> uh, in the whatever you power, 
Yeah, yeah but TV says, well, I got it at the bookstore. It's always mm -hmm. back. Hey. This is happy with Mm-hmm. <laughs> and the statistical probability of love at first sight. Mm -hmm. That's both by the same author. Um... You thought I was done, didn't you? Book one, two, and three. Just a little. Of the Darkest Minds. And I love these, how they play off each other. Because it's the darkest mind. The darkest minds never fade in the twilight. Or in the afterlight. I love how she I did want, I want to read that. That they each play off of each other. I like the covers. Yes, I like the covers. Those I... And I've got, I'm almost done actually. I've got Born of Deception, Born of Illusion, mm -hmm. Creature Department, Doll Bones, huh. Creepy. Broken Hearts, Fences, and Other Things to Mend, Once. And kissed, and ow, I smushed my finger. <laughs> Sounds like a good book. <laughs> yes. Ouch, I smushed my finger was awesome. <laughs> then I've got a relic. Vengeance Bound. I love this cover. She's the author that is a cool of cover. Thomas of Shadows, which was amazing. I got Clan. The Real Prom Queens of Westfield High, Isle of Night, and then I found a copy of Extraction. Mm -hmm. Ex yeah, Extracted, excuse me, from Sherry Ficklin, who is awesome. Awesome! Okay. Over on, oh, I guess we'll go up here. Then I've got Article 5, Breaking Point 3, Legend Champion Prodigy. Or, pro yeah, Prodigy. Champion is signed. So is Article 5 and Breaking Point. I don't think 3 is signed. So I got to meet her. Oh, it's signed by Book Plate. So I lied. It is signed. Just like indirectly. Then I've got Conjure Siren, Beastly, Bewitch, The House of Scorpion, The Lord of Opium. Shattered soul, soul, Souls and Ashes on the Waves. <laughs> Excuse me while I brain myself with books. Then I've got Death, Doom, and Detention, Death and the Girl Next Door, Death and the Girl He Loves, Shade, Shine, and Shift. It's a lot of death. <laughs> yes, and then they shade... Then they shade, shine, and uh, shift after they're done. <laughs> nice. Wow. You know, that works. <laughs> then I've got Night Spell, Miss Wood, The Beautiful and the Cursed, Lovely and the Lost. I also have book three to this here. It's over there. Uh, Swoon and Swear. Maybe I should have been counting. Okay, one more stack up here. Then I've got The Unbecoming of Ma Mara Dyer, The Evolution, then Born Wicked, Star, Star Cursed, uh, Clockwork Key, The Arcane, Rise of Arcane Fire, and Shadow of the War, War Machine. Oh. Oh. Ow, that was my finger. Okay, last shelf. Whew. Wonder if I hit 100 yet. Mm. I've got Eon. Candor, Dragonwood, Falling Under, Scorch, Jacoby, Secret, The Dark Elite, which is both books, The Mockingbirds, Undercurrent, A Map of the Unknown of the Known World, Darkness Becomes Her, Reveal, Tandem, Unleashed, Royally Lost, Guardian of the Dead, Poison, How to Love, When the World Was Thought and We Were in Love, Dark Inside, Dead Beautiful, The Hunt, Beta, um, between the Lines, which this one is signed. I won that from Simon Pulse. The Paleon Prophecy, 
guilt and tarnish, panic, the carrier of the mark, the line away and the island, birthmark promise prized, the strain angels bind up, plus the other three, reckoning, jealousy, defiance, meridian, arc light, the entire great terrible beauty series, vanquished and crusade, Unremembered, Unforgotten, Anna and, the, Anna and the French Kiss, Anna, Lola and the Boy Next Door, Eternity, Fury, Envy, and then the whole entire Hush Hush series. <laughs> and then down here, I've got Paranormacy, Endlessly, Supernaturally, Raised by Wolves, Trial by Fire, Unbreakable, Unmarked, Unbound, The Archive, Find Me, Remember Me, Poison Princess, Endless Night, A Need So Beautiful, Once So Wicked, Eyes Like Stars, and Perchance to Dream. And then, last but not least, I've got Witch and Wizard, Fairy Wars, Black and Blue, and Lost Kiss Goodnight. And that is everything that I still need to read. That's a lot. I think I'm going to be here for a while. Just a little. And that doesn't include that stuff over there that I still have to read. Yeah. Way too many. No, I'm just kidding. No. And then next year we'll be picking up series. So I will start in the A's and I will work my way down. And that <laughs> is next year's thing. That was loud. <laughs> oh, goodness gracious. That is a lot of books. Yes. I think I need more books. Do you say you need more books? <laughs> I think you do. You can never have too many. Yeah, I mean, I always need more books. Of course, that doesn't include, like, you know, all of that stuff. For people who don't know, that's, like, all the stuff I'm getting rid of. Whee! The stuff that you just saw on the far right-hand side, that's all the stuff that I haven't posted that I'm getting rid of as I go through stuff. I've got a lot of stuff. Any good ones? Um, I've got Zoo from James Patterson, Winter Spell, If I Should Die by Amy Plum, Inversion, uh, The Mark of the Tala. Um, I can't see the other ones because they're sideways. I know I've got the air on there from uh, uh, um, what is her name? She wrote the selection. I cannot think of her first name. Her last Kara. name is Kara. Kara. Is it Kara? Yeah. Here I cast, yeah. yeah. Something like that. So the ears up there and hardback. There's a lot of stuff up there. Oh, yeah. All right. I'm going to go see what I want to do for dinner. Time is really well. <laughs> <sighs> Whew. It is hot. Yeah, it's pouring over here. It's not here. It was earlier. Yeah, it's starting to flood in some areas. Yeah. Yeah. And I think it's supposed to rain tomorrow. Oh, that's fun. Yeah, I'll keep you up that's to date on the weather. <laughs> that's awesome. Wish tomorrow was like Friday instead of Thursday, though. That would have been nice. And then I could have gone up, went and watched Jurassic Park, grabbed some lunch, and then went to the book signing. Yeah. I just wish it was Friday so I didn't have any more work for the weekend. Yeah. Oh, I forgot a stack of books. <gasps> they were hiding. They got shit in here. What? I'm not, I'm not joking. I've got Afterworlds. From Scott West Westerfield. Mm-hmm. Misfit. 
know if you guys can even see this. Mm hmm I can at least. Okay, Misfit. They mm -hmm. pushed in here. The Devil's Kiss. Lisa Kofari, she's awesome. Dangerous. Between Shades of Grey. Uh, and the Iron Witch. Okay, now that's everything. I didn't even see that. Oh, no, I lied. Oops. I've got the entire I Am Number 4 series. <laughs> the entire I Am Number 4 series. I think I'm missing, like, one book. Holy cow. I know. It's getting worse. My book hoarder tendencies... I which wish I had that problem. And Witch Hunt. These are the UK copies. I'm not too happy about them being the UK copies because they change mm -hmm. words around to fit the UK. <sighs> Yay! Yay! Oh. Actually, um, you I mentioned a book series. Email for Geeky Con that I was approved and I'm good to go and I'm so happy. Sorry. I'm sorry. Let's cry over here. <laughs> um, you mentioned a book series they have on your to read, The Strange Angels. Yes, it's over there. I love that series. I read all of them. I haven't read all. I haven't read any of them. Yeah. Uh, it's a great series, and I own every single one of those. I actually read a series you haven't read. <gasps> Got, what is it, Strange Angels and Betrayals. And then uh -huh. Reckoning. Jealousy. Jealousy and Defiance. Is that all of them? Yeah, Strange Angels, Betray, Jealousy, Defiance, and Reckoning. Yes. Okay, so good. I have all of them. Yep. That's a good series. So basically what I do in series right now, since I'm just trying to get through all this stuff that you guys just saw, and I still have three stacks up here to show you, uh, basically, like, I've got Gracing, Bitter Blue, and Fire. If I read Gracing, and I think it's awesome, and I love it, these will then go on my keep shelf to get scanned in, and then I won't finish the series until next year. Mm -hmm. Because I just, I need to get through them all so I can get caught up with other stuff. So I've got Nantucket Blue and Nantucket Red. Mm -hmm. Get these off my shelf up here. The sweetest dark and the dark and the deepest night. I like the covers. This dark endeavor and such wicked intent. This is about Frankenstein. Ooh, that sounds cool. The fifth wave and the infinity sea or the infinite sea, the infinite sea. Are this they making a movie? Yes, it's out next year. This had a re has a really bad love interest in it, so just ignore it because the rest of it's awesome. I was gonna say you read that like like a couple years ago, and you were like, ah. I read up to that point, and then when it's all you know, hey, the world is ending. Your brother's been kidnapped. You saw your father get gunned down in cold blood. Hey, man, that dude's ass looks cute. <laughs> <laughs> that doesn't work. Well, you know what? Well, you know what, Jessica? When everything goes bad, you have to look up. <laughs> you mean down? You have to check. You have to look down. Well, I guess it's. Well, I guess she was laying down. I guess you could say she looked up. <laughs> I, mean, it, I mean, it kind of works. I mean, I know my husband will be walking around without his shirt on and stuff, and I'll just be doing something, you know, whatever, and then I'll just happen to catch a peek of him walking by, and just like, hmm. Yeah, see, when the world's going bad like that, Jessica, you got to look for the good in things. And so I guess looking at somebody's butt. The sexy butt. Okay. Yeah. We've got the Society <laughs> of S and the Year of Disappearances. I think this one deals with vampires again as well. I'm not exactly sure. Ooh, vampires. The vampires. Then I've got, oh, here it is. So this is the original ones. This is the Summoning, the Awakening, and the Reckoning, I think, is the other one. The Reckoning. Uh huh. We were talking about that earlier. Yes. So there's those, and then she's got a spinoff series, which is the Calling, the Gathering, and the Rising. Uh, these are not in order, just so you know. 
Mm -hmm. I love those covers. I like all six of those covers. If memory, if memory serves, those are set in the same world as the Bitten series. This is just the YA version, and then that's the adults, I guess. Not exactly sure how they intertwine. I don't know. But then I've got Andress in Blood and Girl of Nightmares. Mm hmm The entire Cinder series. I want to read that. And these are all signed. I didn't even know they were signed. When I was going through these the other day, I have bookmarks, too. How'd you get it signed? Did you trade? I have a sticker. No, actually, uh, I think I had asked the author to come on the show, and she sent me a book plate. Nice. So they're all signed by book plate. And then I also have Ferris that's over there that I traded for. Mm-hmm. Okay, next. Ooh, head rush. I've got Enclave, Horde, and Outpost. Hmm. I have read a part of Enclave, which is book one. It's awesome. Mm -hmm. It's awesome. I'm running out of room down here on my little thing. <laughs> okay, so we're down to the last three books. Finally, I've got Lucid, which is a book two. I have book one in ebook. Witch Child and Savory, and that is the last of them. I didn't, I didn't like that one, the one you had in your left hand. Now it's in your right hand. Savory. I didn't like that one. I hated that one. Isn't this a series though? Or no? I have no idea. I have no idea. I read the first one. I couldn't even get through. I think I didn't even get to like twenty pages or so. No. I didn't even get past the 50 pages because it kept jumping point of views. Oh. And it was confusing, and I didn't know what the heck was going on, so I gave up. Because Witch Child. a pretty cover. Witch Child is really good. I've read like half of it. I zoomed mm -hmm. half of that thing, and it was. Okay, well, that's all of it, finally. And here's my bag for tomorrow's. For tomorrow's show. I, I gotta find a bag, maybe see if I can get them to sign it. You know, I'm half tempted to make you do like like get this poster sign, then you have a you do a giveaway. <laughs> Why? I don't know what I'm gonna do with it. Frame sit it. there and collect this. What? Frame it? Frame it. So I have books. Let's see here. Uh, push this back and pull out my swag box. My other swag box. Where did you go? Wonder what kind of swag they're gonna have. Hmm. I know I have a bag around here somewhere. I just don't know what swag box it sits in. I wonder what kind of swag they're going to have tomorrow. That's what I was just thinking. Like I want, I want a bag. That would be so cool. Right. I know I had an bracelets. I just wonder what I did with it. Hmm. Yeah, you, know, you could probably just hit like books a million or something and just grab one from them. Or even just we Walmart. don't have one here. Okay, I would say mm -hmm. just, just even just Walmart. Probably. Yeah, see, I've got these two. I've got two copies of Killer Instinct. Ooh, that one's kind of bent. Well, that's not cool. 
Uh oh. Ooh. I'm kind of bent. Well, two copies of Killer Within. One of these is already signed by the author. Siren's Fury. Nice. Human not whatever that one's called. <laughs> Hotel Room. Yeah, right. Come back to me. The Scorpion Rules. Dangerous Lies, The Shadow Behind the Stars, Undertow, The Notorious Pagan Jones, The Almost Girl, Ferris, Rogue. Mm -hmm. I know I've got all these books. I got the yummy books. Uh, the Creeping, Nearly Found. Suicide notes from beautiful girls. She's coming on the show with Essie Green's pieces. Mm -hmm. Wildfire, Ember and Echoes, and Afterglow. Thanks to Erin for that one. <laughs> and Ember in Ashes. She will also be at the Geeky Con. I keep hearing good things about that book. I want to read it. Furious. Or Furies. That is book two to the other one that I can't pronounce. Sasquire or whatever. Craven Sacrifice. Nearly Gone. What I Thought Was True. The Wondrous and the Wicked. And last but not least, The Shattered World. That I love is that cover. Everything that I've gotten this month so far. Ugh. I think I need might need a bigger table. <clears throat> Where did that other copy go? I lost a book. Oh, there it is. Those are mine. Okay. I'm getting off here. I'm going to go make some food. Okay. All right. I will see you tomorrow. See you tomorrow. Bye. You should, like, put tattoos on your head. For... Right. I wish they would do that there. It would be so like cool. Like fake ones. It's like Crayola marker, so it will just walk right <laughs> I'm just a Sharpie. Come on, go big or go home. Sharpie! You want to go big or go home? For like a week or something. It's <laughs> <sighs> like, no for real. Ever. I used to do that. I used to have a pentacle ring and I would put it in a stamp and I, I would have a bracelet out around my wrist that would stay for a few days. It was awesome. Yeah, I used to put Sharpie in my hair. In your hair? Mm hmm, to color it. Wow. Oh. Never thought about that. You can see all the stuff I'm getting rid of above my head. It's a lot of books. Yes, that is. And it's see, it's creepy because like the you can pick out like those right there. That's the Outlander series. Mhm. Mm Particles. In shadowed. It's so weird. I can do that. It's just it's it's weird. All right, I'm getting off here this time. Bye.